the place for racial prejudice and identity in life of Paul Gatrain in Mela Larsen's Quicksand. Even though this rise of the literary movement called Carmen Renaissance, African American artists still had experienced the struggle of racial prejudice that had great influence on their lives, as well as the lives of other black Americans. The concept of racial prejudice, status, and identity had inspired them and were largely exposed as major themes in their writing. These ideas also found a place in written works of mixed-race author Nella Larson, who was the first black woman to receive the Guggenheim Award in 1930 for creative writing. Overall, Larson is considered to be one of the most central female voices of the Harlem Renaissance. The idea of self-identification in terms of race was a crucial topic in her works. As a daughter of a white mother and a black father, she believed that even if there was not an exact definition of race, it still had an actual influence on people like her and their lives. Precisely, it had a major impact on Nella Larson's life, and is partially revealed through the life of the protagonist in her very first novel, Quicksand. The novel was published in 1928 and was highly praised by modern critics and received the Harmon Foundation Prize. Quicksand tells the story of a young mixed-race woman, Helga Crane, who has a somewhat mixed life guided by specific ideas and beliefs regarding her racial identity. It seems that such a mix of so many things enables Helga Crane to find her place where she is finally happy. Placement itself has a very important role in the novel that is divided as a map on the places where the heroine, as she believed, would be able to settle down. Helga was traveling back and forth from South America to Europe. She tried to find acceptance in Chicago, in Harlem, in New York, and even Europe. But Helga did not fit in any of these locations, even if sometimes she felt so. The heroine was often affected by external or internal ideas about her uncertain racial status as both white and a black woman. This uncertainty led Helga in a different place where she could feel a sense of belonging until the next racial prejudice from society or even herself. Despite so many opportunities and ventures offered to the heroine, she was destined for nothing but unhappiness. At the end of Helga's tragic wandering, in search of the place in the world with no racial prejudice and where someone like her could fit in, Helga Crane, together with Nella Larson, only could find the answer to the question that others might ask themselves as well. My old man died in a fine big house. My ma died in a shack. I wonder why I'm gonna die being neither white nor black.